What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris aka Mr. 54540 TV in the building. I'm here with another mechanic video. I'm currently working on my W221 2007 Mercedes S550. The issue I'm having is probably a week ago, well actually a month ago, um, I would get in my vehicle and when I started up, the AC or the heat wouldn't work. And then while I'm driving, probably like maybe 20 minutes in, it would just come on by itself and start working and be fine for the rest of the day, honestly. Um, but yesterday came out here, kind of checked it out, and it did nothing. Also this morning, um, it did nothing. Um, so I did look it up and I had already ordered a part, which the issue was the blower motor. On the Mercedes forums, people were saying, if you just hit that panel, under the glove compartment um that it would you know come on and work i tried that it did nothing for me um some people saying it did work for them but um that's the repair we're going to get to today because you know it's cold outside and i need my my heat just need the air working i mean because this is a mercedes so you want everything working like it's supposed to work all right, so let's go ahead and get to the video. Oh yeah, before I forget, um, I did order this off of Amazon and this was $73, as you can see here. Yeah, paid $73.99 for it off of Amazon. And it came probably within maybe two, three days. Um, but if you wanna order it, that's the number there, the 221-820. Two seven one four, or the model number is on it B O thirty forty. So you can look it up by those numbers. All right, so here's what the panel actually looks like here. Um, it's right under the glove compartment, and it is held by two screws, which is Torque T twenty screws, and um i'm going to use this here i actually ordered these off of amazon also it was a couple um it's pretty much a lot of them but i'm gonna use that torque t20 and it's a screw right here and it's a screw actually right here on that side so i'm gonna go ahead and get to that um try to get those screws off then I'll be right back. All right, so I got the screws off. Um, you see that there's a light here. I'm gonna remove this connector. So that's unplugged. Now we should be able just to pull this down. I saw a couple videos uh, on this repair online, um, but hopefully mine is Mine is a little more straightforward for you and it works a little better. All right, so as you can see, I need to move this, that down. That's our blower motor here. So there are five screws holding it down. Uh, if you look on the back of the old blower motor, there's one there. One here, that's three, four, and then five. So I kind of see how it is on the blow motor itself, so I know exactly where the screws are. So let's get to the screws, taking those out from up there, and then we'll be ready to add in our new blower motor and then test it out. All right, so I have finally got this blower motor out of here. And let me tell you, the screws that's in the back and the one, middle one that's on the side are tough to get out. Um, you kind of see the top panel down up there and you see leaves and dirt, debris, all that is actually falling down. This current um, blower motor, Teeth are broken. 
There's dirt all in there, dirt all around here. So what we're gonna do now, um, and I actually broke one of the um, screw sections, but we're not gonna worry about that. All right, so now we're gonna grab this little connector here. Let's pull it out. So we got that out. There's the connector there. Now with this section here, we're gonna take this off of here and transfer it to the new one. Which it actually goes right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that unscrewed. And I believe it's one, look like just one. There's gotta be another screw somewhere. Actually, just one screw holding it in. Um, that's the same T20 screw, torque screw here. So I'm going to get it transferred, and I will be right back. All right, so I got that piece out, and it was just one um, torque screw holding it in. This connector was on. That's a little tab that's inside there. You got to kind of get your finger in there to pull that tab down, and then it'll release this. So what we're going to do is go ahead and connect it. All right, so it's connected. Uh, this part is going to be on the open part down here. Sorry, I am a one man, one man band. So if the camera get off, so forgive me all right so it's in there let's go ahead and grab our torch bit screw which will go right here again I hope this video actually helps um someone else I mean that's why I make videos to help someone with the same issue all right, let me get that screw in because I can't do it with just uh, one hand. So I'm gonna go and get the screw in and I'll be right back to show you what the finished product of this looks like. All right, so we got the screw in, which is right there. Got everything connected. The connector on the bottom is showing. So we're gonna go ahead and get this put back up and the screws replaced inside of it. And then I'm gonna show you that my AC or my air fan blower is actually working. Matter of fact, we honestly should be able to go ahead and put this up now and see. So let's, sorry for the bad angle, you know, I'm a one man band. Matter of fact, let's put it right here. So we should better plug this up and see it actually working. All right, got it connected. Gonna keep it in that position there. All right. All right, I'm in the driver's side. So let's go ahead and start it up. And when I turn this on, that should work. And you see it's working. Connected. So yep. You see that was what our issue was. The other one was not working at all. So we're definitely gonna call this a success. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and um, put it back up, put the screws back in, and after that, We'll start the car up just to make sure that it's blowing out through the vents, hot air, and cold air when I turn it to cold air. But glad to actually see that um, working. So let's get back to this item, I mean this part, and let's go ahead and put it in and then we'll go from there. All right, this video here is a 
another video maybe two about two or three days later from the previous clip that you seen a few minutes ago so i was having issues because i would turn my car on and my blower motor would run but when i turn my air off my climate control off that the blow motor will still be running at high speed which is seven so i figured out what the issue was with that in case you ran into this issue it was this resistor and in case you need a part number i will put a link in the description so that's the um part number right there the part i ordered was not um that brand but it's the same as that um part so that was what my issue was again my blower motor would just constantly run um it would not stop at all even when i turned the climate control off it would just keep going even when i turned that fans down it would still stay on like high speed which is seven so i did change it out um and the reason i changed this it would run sometimes sometimes it won't i noticed that when i would jerk this cord a little bit it will come on and sometimes it won't but if you look at the cores here the cables there's nothing really wrong that looks like from the cables um there's a little play when i pull that but um i, I don't know so i just went on the switch on to a new part and i also put the new resistor on and so i'm gonna show you exactly what we got now and now you can hear that fan a lot though you can hear it a lot more than we could before I guess it's because of the new fan and see how this is kind of rusted out there. The new fan isn't rusted and it's rusted on the inside too. I don't know if you kind of see inside there. There you go, but it's kind of rusted in there. So it's off, you don't hit a fan. So when I turn it on, then it's on on seven. I can feel it come out the vents. I can feel it come out of the vents now. And you can hear it that it's on. So now, when I hit the off button, it cuts right off. Which, that's what it's supposed to do. So, obviously I fixed the issue. Um, like I said, I'm sure this needed to be switched out. It needed to be switched out. Um, but this was also an issue that I ran into so which is the resistor and again the part number is here and I will put again that link inside the description for the part number for here well actually the link for the item the, the part this resistor and I will put the link for the blower motor the blower motor was not expensive it was like 70 something dollars and I think this was like 30 something dollars but Seems my issue has been fixed. Let's try it again. We should hear the air. I already feel it. So it should be coming on. Yeah, I can hear it. And let's turn it down. And you hear it go down so that means everything is working like it's supposed to be working um this repair was not hard but uh, let me turn that heat off um the repair was not hard but some screws were hard to get to um and i think it goes in this way sideways the screw that was in the back which are this one and that one and also the one that's on this side was really hard to get to. I used this to get to it. And I'm not gonna lie to you, what I did with this screw that was on the far right side is I just broke it off of there. I mean, I wasn't gonna use this anymore anyway. So I just really just broke it off of there. Let's see if I zoom in on it for you. I just broke it off. Um, I already had other screws out. Which that screw right there was hard to get out. The other ones are pretty easy, but that's the repair, man. I hope y'all like.
this video hope this video helped you all it seems that you all like the um, mechanic videos on my channel so I'm gonna continue doing more mechanic videos as parts break on my vehicles and um, yeah this is my Mercedes 2007 W221 Mercedes-Benz S550 and this was the blower motor repair make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to my channel make sure you hit the post notification bell every time I upload so you get every video um, the next video will probably be my door uh, window regulators because they don't work that one or the one on the back that doesn't work either but my driver and driver side back rear those do work so that'll probably be the next videos that I get to for you all again thank y'all for watching my video thank y'all for subscribing to my channel always go in the comment section and leave comments um, and that way I can be in interactive with you all we could talk sometimes people have better ideas of how I should have did it or um, have questions for me on the repair that I did and I'm, I'm gonna be straightforward you know how I did it if I Jimmy read it up a little bit I'm gonna tell you I Jimmy read it up a little bit um, but I try to be straightforward on my channel so thank y'all for viewing my video all my videos on my channel peace out until the next video